Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. We're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's the 6th of January here, and uh, time lapse here of the, the moon last night, and the storm clouds rolling in here. And again, you'll see the uh, uh, clouds lowering and thickening as our uh, nor'easter system moves up the east coast here. And again, uh, so inundated here with snow. Got about a couple inches here so far outside 360's headquarters here. Not much snow to speak of here again across the country and on a national scale. Again, we're 58% below average, 58% less than last year, making it the number one least in 38 plus years. Again, we'll be adding to that for sure here in January. So we got some very good news here. So again, if you like snow, uh, you'll like the next couple weeks. Uh, snow cover here this morning, again, wasn't much. Uh, about 35% of the country covered in snow versus 37% last year. Big difference is just the Sierras were pummeled last year in December and January, and uh, not so here this year. They'll pick up some ground here, but uh, nowhere near the, the snow they had last year. So again, a bit below snow cover, but that's going to increase here. We think about over half the country will have snow on the ground here uh, by Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Good news here is the polar vortex is ragged and weak and uh, on the move. Uh, so a big chunk headed for the U.S. here for the uh, front half of January, probably even to the third week of January here. So cold, snowy weather is going to be in the U.S. and uh, parts of Siberia. If we look at the uh, impact here on uh, retail seasonal sales here, so if we look at the front half of January, January 1st through the 20th, here in the U.S., coldest and snowiest in 13 years. That's huge. Uh, 10 degrees colder than a year ago, uh, wettest in seven years. So cold, wet, snowy. We're going to drive a lot of demand here for these seasonal categories. Um, we call this our power of one degree technology. We've analyzed about 10,000 seasonal items. So understand how weather influenced them in the past to predict the future here. So if we look at things like uh, flu cold medicine, soup, coffee, again, about 2% move for every degree colder, 10 degrees colder for this period, uh, about 20% increase. Winter boots up about 30%. Women's outerwear, even more volatile. Energy consumption, your utility bill is going to go up 50%. Ice scrapers, auto batteries are going to have huge wins here, 70%. Uh, auto batteries fail in cold weather, and certainly going to have some of that in, as we get into mid-January here. Fire logs up about 70, and uh, electric blankets probably the big winner, um, very volatile category, up about 240. Chart left here just shows the trends here. For the milder November, December, we had a good Black Friday, but then uh, colder end to uh, December, beginning of January here, and then uh, now the very, very cold trends going into mid-January. Looking at last week here across the world here, across the U.S. Uh, weekend here today, 6 January, it was colder here in the U.S., so some start of good news here, 6.5 colder than last year, still 15th warmest, but again, starting a good trend here. 37% drier than a year ago, driest in three, 17th driest in 39. Snowfall down about 24% versus last year, least in three years, eighth least in 38 years. Uh, Russia was clearly the cold spot, coldest in eight years, and China probably one of the hot spots, warmest in four years, fifth warmest in 39 years. Maps inset left are the trends versus average. A little overdone here with the snow in the central U.S. Certainly going to be a lot of snow there, but uh, not as much as depicted here by this model output. Uh, so overdone a bit, but uh, overall, very good week for retail seasonal sales here, week ending the 13th. 5.2 cold in last year, coldest in eight years nationally, 19th colds in 38 years, so good news there. Snowfall off the scale here, 794% more than a year ago, most in 13 years, third most in 39 Um Rainfall way up, 193% wetter than last year. Number one wettest in 39 years. So just think about all the categories like wiper blades and snow accessories, um, snow shovels, snow, snowmobiles, you name it. They're going to be selling in weather like this again because we just haven't seen this uh, in quite some time here. So good news on the retail seasonal sales front. We'll go quickly through the six-day snowfall trends here. Uh, here today, January 6th, you see the heavy snow here in Pennsylvania uh, getting about uh, – Probably four to six plus inches here at uh, 360's headquarters. Um, that moves into New England with a much heavier eight to 15 inch type event mounts through uh, New England. Then you see the system here Monday, Tuesday into the central U.S. Midwest, um, and then Wednesday, Thursday. This is the start of the polar vortex, so we'll get some snow moving in with this as well. And we aggregate the six day trends here. We're 742% more than last year. Uh, most in 13 years, six most in 39 years. So very, very snowy, 62% of the country with uh, some snow here uh, over the six-day period. So we're certainly going to add to that snow cover across the U.S. Definitely need the fire logs and the heat and whatnot because the polar vortex invades pretty much the entire country here, week ending the 20th. Again, this is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend here, um, I think the 15th. 15, 16 time frame. So again, a very, very strong uh, retail seasonal sales, good ski week, uh, just off the charts good for all the things that didn't do so well in November, December. 14 degrees cold in last year. That's just pretty epic. Uh, coldest in 16 years, third colds in 39 years nationally. 33% more snow, most in five years, 11 most in 39 years, way above average. 
Uh, Presa, we'll see about this. this might, there's another big system moving across the country here. It might be underdone a bit, but 45% drier, dries in three, 12th dries in 39, not buying into that entirely. So stormy pattern, and that's typical when the polar vortex moves in. You'll have systems in front of it and behind it as it pulls out. Um, so good news for sure here for seasonal items. World two-week outlook here, week uh, through the 7th through the 20th of January, 2024. Uh, this big map is now trends versus average. Again, a uh, little misleading in the Northeast. We're going to have some big, huge warm-ups uh, here even next week, uh, Tuesday, um, you know, where we could be in the 50s and 60s and then plummet behind that. So it's a, you know, just a warm surge and then it gets colder again. So pretty much nationwide cold here uh, across the U.S. Uh, Precip map uh, inset left there. And the world two-week outlook here. If you pick some snowy spots, you're going to say it's uh, the U.S., uh, northeast, east Canada, and parts of Russia, Siberia. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. Stay safe out there, and we will talk to you again this time next week. Mm -hmm.